Hello everybody, my name is Abby and today I'm going to be reviewing the Osprey Exos 48 litre backpack. Ta-da! So this is my new toy, I tried it last week on the Cornish Coastal Park and I absolutely fell in love with it, it's just, it's, I love it, it's perfect, it's exactly what I was looking for. Um, so I just want to do a short video, pros and cons, run through the features and kind of help you decide whether this backpack is for you or whether you should be looking elsewhere. So a few stats for you, believe it or not, without the stuff in it, it weighs 1.15 kilograms. I repeat, 1.15 kilograms. Is that not incredible? So my last backpack was the, Os no it wasn't, it was the, what was it? I don't remember. Um, I know, the Van Gogh Sherpa. So that's like three or four kilograms worth of pack there. This, without anything in it, is 1.15 kilograms. That's just astonishing and it is so light. Um, considering how well it's built. But a few more stats for you. In millimetres, it's 710 millimetres in length, it's 350 in width, and 300 millimetres in the overall diameter. Pro doesn't mean much, but for some of you, you may be mathematicians, it might work. <laughs> so let's just run through the features, going on to the back. So this is the very snazzy map. This is a trampoline airspeed mesh back. What's so cool about this is it fits really nicely, it's really comfortable, obviously it's really light, but check this out. I can shove my hand behind it, um, and that just really, really aids the ventilation. Normally you have a really sweaty back, it's pretty disgusting, you get cold quite quickly when you stop, but I was fine, I was dry. <laughs> um, it, it really, it's unbelievable the, just how breathable this is, I love it. Um, and of course it's very bouncy. Moving on to the hip belt, you have this exo foam foam <laughs> on the hip belt. It's a nice, wide, chunky, comfortable hip belt. I like having kind of a, a wide clip just because it, it aids kind of the support because obviously most of the weight should be on your hips. Um, I really like that. This, this exo foam stuff is actually hollow. So as you can see, I can shove my hand down there. Um, and it's got Velcro inside. So you could, if you wanted more cushioning, put like tissues or whatever down there to kind of add more cushioning. Um, so that's quite cool. It's obviously all holy, <laughs> so it's quite breathable. Um, you've then got these two slightly stretchy pockets, so they're good for compasses, tissues. What have I got in here? Oh, okay. Compass, tissues. Um, I shove my GoPro in there, GPS, sweets, whatever you want. It's just, they're pretty cool, really handy, um, and just slightly stretchy. Uh, if we go onto the shoulder straps, so again, you've got this exophone foam stuff. As you can see, I can shove my fingers up there, so it's hollow. Um, sternum strap has a nice emergency whistle, I'm not going to blow that one right now. Um, what else have you got? For the adjustable as usual, so at the top and obviously at the side there. Um, and then you've got these two cute little, these are very stretchy mesh pockets on each of the shoulder straps. And I use mine for my GoPro. If I fall over, which hopefully I won't, it will not fall out. It is fully adjusted in there and yet it's really easy to access as well. I just, I love that. Most lightweight backpacks, you sacrifice these things. but. Osprey have kept it in there and I'm just really grateful for that because it works so well. Then you've got um, the Stow On The Go Trek and Pole attachments as most of Osprey's backpacks have. So you shove the end of your Trek and Pole in there, shove the top in here, adjust it, keep it tight and it's really nicely on your side there. It doesn't get in the way and of course really quick and easy to access as well. So just to quickly conclude with the back, it's also metal framing. Metal. Whoa, in such a lightweight backpack. Um, yeah, so that just really adds to the kind of rigid, rigidity, rigid, rigidness of the backpack, um, and it obviously gives you extra support. One thing that's worth noting, though, is this is not a backpack with an adjustable back. Either it fits you or it doesn't. Try before you buy. You need to. Um, I'm five foot seven, five foot eight. Um, it varies depending on my mood, and um, it fits me perfectly. My mum's slightly shorter, doesn't fit her. My dad's slightly taller, doesn't fit him. So. Either it fits you or it doesn't, and that could be the deciding factor with this pack, unfortunately. Enough of that, let's move on to the top. So you have this beastly lid. This is a floating lid, but we'll get onto that in a minute. So you have this massive pocket, um, which literally just takes up the whole of the, the top. You've got a nice little key fob thing there, just to attach your keys to or whatever. Um, and that's literally like the only zip on the pack. <laughs> Um, so obviously zips are slightly heavier, so I'll spray and minimise that. But if we go inside, 
So th this lid just attaches on the front with two little clips there, nice and simple. Um, on the, the underside of the lid, you've got a mesh pocket. This isn't stretchy, um, but I keep my wallet, my purse, whatever you want to call it, in there. Um, Kendall Mint Cake, yes. Just anything, really, that you don't need quick access to. Um, as I said, this is a floaty lid. Look at this. There are my fingers. So you can completely remove it if you don't want it. Excuse me, if you're not going to use that, those pockets, um, get rid of it, it's extra weight. And what they've done is they've integrated this piece of fabric, um, Osprey logo, and what it does is if you don't want that floaty lid, it's quite hard to do this standing up, you literally just attach that to there, attach it to there, and it just sits in its place. Um, it does get in the way when you have got the lid attached, um, but I guess you can just use it as a kind of extra waterproofing covery thing just for the top here. Worth noting on the mention of waterproofingness, it does not have a waterproof cover. So uh, for me, that's not a problem. I keep everything in dry bags anyway, but that may be a deciding factor for you. I don't know. So it does not have a waterproof cover. If we go inside and I just remove <coughs> that junk. Right. Oh, that's a bit lighter. Um, you have this immense internal pocket um, and that's just where everything goes really. <laughs> so sleeping bag, roll mat, tent, whatever, shove it in there. Um, the only other pocket in here is this yellow elasticated one which is for your um, hydration bladder and then your hose pipe thing comes out on either your left or your right hand shoulder. There's a like H to a little pocket thing there um, depending on which side you like it. and. That's about it really internally, it's nothing special, um, but it does the job. Hasn't got bottom access, for some people they like that. Um, for me it's not such a big problem, but again that's worth noting. If we then move on to the, oh actually just before I do that, this red strap here um, clips to inside, the top of the inside, um, and it's just to kind of compress everything and hold it in place. I do like that actually, because it means you can just shove a jumper on top. Anyway, enough of that. Moving on to the front. Um, you have this ginormously hugely stretchy pocket, <laughs> uh, mesh pocket, and it's just super, it's unbelievable how big it stretches. You can keep jumpers, hats, gloves, um, trainers, anything you want quick access to, you can just shove in there, um, and it's just, it's great, it's just, this is a Mary Poppins bag, you can shove whatever you want in here and it will fit. <laughs> um, so finally, moving on to the bottom, we have removable sleeping pad straps. So these and the compression straps on the side are seven millimeters in width. So they're really small, really lightweight. Um, they can be a bit fiddly, a bit ropey, a bit getty in the way, but otherwise they're fine. I really like them. So I keep my tent on the bottom um, just because my roll mat's tiny and it fits inside. Uh, enough of that. You've then got a single, one single ice axe loop. Um, you may want two ice axes, they won't fit, you've only got the one. I suppose you could shove it behind your back, it's up to you, whatever. Um, and then on the side you've got these two stretchy mesh pockets, ideal for water bottles. Um, for me, they are slightly annoying, um, the same as on my Talon backpack. So, on this side, which is the, if you're wearing your backpacks on the left hand side, um, the compression straps are on the inside of the mesh pocket and they can really tangle up with your water bottles. So again, that's worth noting. Um, on the right hand side, the compression straps are on the outside, so they don't get in the way. But you can adjust those at the bottom and at the top. And it really is, this backpack really is about keeping things streamlined, keeping things smart, keeping things just easy, um, ready to go and keeping them light, obviously. Um, what else have we got to talk about? You know, I think that's pretty much it. Um, so I don't think there's any reflective things or tabs on this backpack. That might be reflective. Mm, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So just to conclude, um, the things I like about this backpack are everything I've mentioned. The things I don't like about this backpack are this extra lid, which gets in the way. Um, these compression straps can be a bit fiddly when you've got really cold hands. Um, obviously the straps inside of this pocket can get in the way and I think, oh actually, the other thing, when I was wearing this on the Cornish Coastal Path, these top straps, so the top straps of the shoulder straps, kept working their way loose and that was quite annoying so I had to keep retightening them. But, I mean this is just me being picky, you have to really for the price I suppose. 
Um, and obviously no waterproof cover and no adjustable back, so try before you buy. But otherwise, that is it. That's the Osprey Exos 48 litre backpack. I love this pack. I hope you love this pack. Happy adventures and thank you very much for watching. Do check out my other reviews.